Hey guys, my name is Noah. Welcome to another hookah review. Today we're going to be talking about Alfacker, Alfacker, however you want to say it, their special edition Banana Montana. Now I kept seeing this in stores and I was like, eh, maybe, I don't know, all their different flavors, their special edition, I was just kind of like hesitant on because obviously they're a company that has some really great stuff and some really not great stuff. You know, they're just a good, solid company all together though. So finally I decided, you know, I'm going to go for it, did some looking online, and this seems to be everybody's personal favorite. So I was like, all right, you know what, I like banana, I like coconut, let's give it a shot. Smoked it a couple times with my friends, and now I want to give you a review to let you know what I really think of it. What are we working off of today? Well, we've got this beautiful Sahara hookah. This is actually a replica, or it's the same one, just a different one, from my first hookah I bought at a yard sale years ago with my mother. Long story, I'll tell it to you another time, but I messed up this stem really bad. Badly. I finally got to cleaning it out, really getting in there and getting the dirt and grime off of it, and now it is good to go. I have this awesome hose I got off of Amazon. It's just a simple washable hose, but it's been working really well so far. Hookah John Titanium Coals, who doesn't love some good Hookah John Coals, of course. And then I bought a couple smaller Saharas, and they came with these nice bowls, so that's what we're working off of today. And uh, yeah, let's just get right into the thick of things. I love this packaging, first of all. It is really nice, really solid colors. Um, nice tin, of course. You open it up, and you're actually going to be able to take out that middle compartment and have the tin afterwards if you want to save it for any reason, so that's awesome. The smells you get off of this are very much exactly what it says. You can smell the banana, the coconut is quite strong in there, but of course you get this chemical taste that you usually get with some of the alfacra flavors like coconut. When you get it, it's kind of got that chemically taste to it. If you smoke Starbuzz, you kind of know what I'm talking about when you just smell right off the bat, but it doesn't smell bad. It's just, it's there. It's a flavor. So let's pack this right into the bowl. We're just going to do a simple fluff pack and we can check out the cut here. And, you know, I would say there's a few stems here and there, but nothing different than your regular Alfacker cut. It's pretty standard. And we're just going to scoop that right on into the bowl here. Get all that goodness. Like I said, we're just kind of fluffing it right in there. Um, standard how you would pack really any Alfacker flavor. Just kind of fluffing it right in there. You know, right there to the top, as you can see. Looking good, right? Everybody's happy. All right. And I've actually already packed a bowl of this. And it's going right now, being nice and heated for you guys, so we don't have to wait on it. And then we're obviously gonna, just going to do, I like little pin pricks, personally. Lots of little ones, so that the ash has less of a chance of really getting in there, but still getting good airflow. All right, just kind of going around here. And just like I said, not too many, not too few. I like a nice kind of hard pull on mine, personally. And there we go. We're done and done. So let's get this right out of the way here. Put it to the side. And take a hit off of this. Nice fluffy clouds, as you can see, we're using three coals. It's been heating up for about 15 minutes now, 20 minutes now, and so it's getting nice and hot, but it's not burning at all. It tastes really nice, actually. We all kind of had the same conclusion when I was smoking this group of friends, and it's just straight up banana bread, banana button nut bread. I mean, you can taste the nuttiness, you can taste the bananas, the coconut is definitely there, but it's a very light undertone, and when you're smoking it, you kind of get this tickle in your throat from the chemically taste, and you can definitely taste the chemicals. It's not super strong, but it's there, just like if you were smoking Starbuzz or one of the other Alfacra flavors that's not as well done, in my opinion, such as coconut or pineapple, just to mention two of them. But it's not a bad thing. Like I said, it's just something that comes with the territory when you're getting a company like this that is high on value, but that doesn't mean you're going to get the top of the end, such as Tangiers or Trifecta. But still, great clouds, great taste to it. This is definitely a dessert -y flavor, something I would smoke in the morning time um, with a cup of coffee, just really get my day started on the right foot. 
Uh, I don't think all your friends are really going to love this flavor. I think that some people are going to really love it, some people are going to really hate it, and that's due to the banana and the coconut, which can be flavors just like grape that people aren't always a fan of. So I wouldn't say this is something you're going to break out at a party. You need to know the people you're smoking with before you start smoking this. Nonetheless, it smokes for a good hour and a half, two hours. you got like a 30-minute window there between the hour and a half, two hour that it starts to get more chemicals and less of flavor. It's still not bad. It's smokable, but just to be aware of that if you're a person like me who likes to smoke it right to the edge and then stop before you ruin the taste. I'm a big fan of this flavor. Like I said, I would smoke this in the morning time. I'm going to finish off this bowl once this video is done while I'm editing it. It's great. I like it. I think overall, though, for what it is, what the name of it is, the packaging, the cut, all that, I would give it like a 7 out of 10. It's very true to the flavor, but it definitely needs more coconut. I wish they could get rid of that chemical taste in it, but otherwise, everything about this is really, really great. Not a lot of stems, but there are a few in there. For me personally, this is more of 8 out of 10. I would smoke it, but not all the time. It's not something I'm not going to smoke ever or rarely. I'll smoke it pretty often. I'll go through this. But it's not going to be an everyday, put it on and get it going type of flavor. Anyways, though, that's just my opinion. Maybe you've got a different one. For me, like I said, I want to hear what you guys have to think. What, have you tried this flavor? Have you tried their other flavors and I need to try their other flavors? What are your thoughts? Leave them in the comments below. Send me a message and let me know what you guys want to see. What do you want me to review? What flavors do you want me to review? And yeah, we're just going to keep hanging out, keep doing this, hopefully one or two videos a week. Thanks for sticking around. My name is Noah. Have a great week.